Hey guys, so it's official, the laser's here. So yeah, this is the SP3000. It's a gigantic three meters by two meter CO2 laser, 200 watts of oomph. And her name is Betty. I'm also gonna call her the beast because she's pretty beastly and massive, so. All in the best ways, of course, but yeah, definitely. Now, before we get cutting, we still have a few things to sort out, which is there's a little black pipe over there. That one needs to be connected to some sort of outlet because that is this extraction here, which we didn't realize there was two pipes. But anyway, and you'll hear it soon, we've got the wrong compressor. We've got this little pimp squeak here, which is nothing for Betty. Betty needs a whopping 240 litres of bar 6, oil-free, water-free, aerosol-free air per minute. So, yeah, we've got a beast of an air compressor coming real soon to do with that. That will be on Thursday next week. And as you can see, I've disassembled the pallets there, those two big ones over here. That's the workbench that I'm gonna put instead here. Over here, I've still got the lids of all these. And as you can see, we've got one of the delivery boxes as our first material box, because it was a great idea of one of the guys who was installing it. And let's see, what else is there? Yes, a new modeling program. So I've never modeled for furniture and stuff like that before. Well, I have, but very 2D drawing and never in 3D, but I know Blender and I know Maya because I've done visual effects for film and TV. However, that won't do for construction and making tables and toys and stuff like that. So I'm learning Rhino 3D. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a, take me a little bit of time, but I'll get there. I think my first project's gonna be the workbench or some sort of like waffle design creature. And then from there, let's see what happens. Anyway, I'm going to take you now into the time lapse so you get to see how crazy this installation was. So that was the whole time lapse. As you see, it took three. Yeah, today is, uh, no. It, today is Thursday. It took four days to build that whole thing from scratch. We had a guy from Austria that came, brilliant guy, two Spanish guys, great guys, they did fantastically. And 
yeah, they did this in record time. That was, even at the end there, all that walking about everywhere, that was them doing the operator training. And I have to show you guys this. This is, this is hilarious. Are you ready? This giant beast has this key, this, this tiny thing for that. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you there because you've seen the massive time lapse. So thanks for watching and let the quest continue.